Billie Eilish. She is, wow, young as hell and successful as Whoa, I mean, whoa, wow. Definitely a fan here. Love her music. I vibe, I live, I do it, I like it a lot. Also, fan of her hair. Okay, but. <laughs> A fan of her hair in, in a way, and not a fan of her hair in a, in a few different ways. And I will let you know why that is. But we're gonna be making a wig, a Billie Eilish wig. I'm gonna be dressing up as Billie Eilish because it's Halloween. I thought, why not like make the wig look like her hair, dress myself up like her, which won't be too hard because I already get told I look like Billie Eilish like every day in my life. So, or I have the same style as Billie Eilish and I'm like, listen, she ain't the only one wearing chains, okay? But her chains do look fire, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna do the wig, I'm gonna dress up as her, and we're gonna go through her evolution of her hair and what's been going on with her hair, how she got there, and I'm gonna be doing the green roots with the black ends moment because listen, it's iconic, okay? It's great. Let's freaking do it, that sounds like an exciting time. All right, you guys, let's do it. All right, so listen, I am by no means an OG fan of Billy. Like I, I, I found out from her when she popped off. Like I wasn't familiar with Billy. So apologize if my, the order of the way I'm going through this, these hairstyles are not correct. I actually don't know which one she did first, but when I first started liking her or getting into her music, she had this blonde hair. And to think that she had like silver blonde hair now is like kind of weird because I'm like used to seeing her with dark hair, but she had this silver gray look and in, uh, you guys know how I feel about gray hair. I like it when it's like bright silver. I'm just like not a huge fan of the whole like gray, gray hair. I just think it's so dull and non-reflective and just looks like, makes people look into like their corpses and with no hydration. And I, I, it's cool. Listen, she looks artsy. It's fun for her. I don't know. Then she did a rose gold, which I prefer a lot for her. I think it makes her look a lot healthier and complements her skin a lot. It's kind of like a silver rose gold. I wouldn't really call it a rose gold, but it's kind of like more of a pinky toned silver, which I really like. Um, that was an awesome look. She kind of transitioned into, looks like she grew her roots out, still had the ends blonde, and then she ended up putting a demi-permanent blue over her ends and then she ended up with an ombre black to uh, like an aqua blue look. And I really like this one. I mean, listen, her color, is it done well? No, but I think that's sort of like the cool appeal to her is that I don't know if she actually goes to professional for these colors or she just does it herself, but her teenage kind of aesthetic and kind of like angsty vibes like really goes with her cool, like I did it by myself hair colors. Like I really like that on her. I think she really rocks like the DIY colors. I don't think I'd like it if she got it professionally done and it was perfect looking. Like it's a big part of her edge to have like kind of f***ed up hair. <laughs> like if you're gonna commit to a look like f***ed up hair, like you better fully do your whole wardrobe <laughs> and everything around that look. Like I I'm so about the grunge, but just make sure it kind of like is fully through. Like I don't wanna see no girls with grungy ass hair and in like a cute preppy outfit. Like it doesn't make sense. Like if you're gonna go grunge, go full on. If you're not gonna go grunge, then go pretty. Like Billy kind of rocks the, like I did my hair at home look. This one was probably one of my favorites, which was this kind of like slate gray blue. It's kind of like, I don't, I just, I think it makes her eyes just really pop. And it's, it, I don't know, it's just like mesmerizing to see her eyes so blue and kind of grayish and really complements her skin tone because of it's such a cool color. I love the way her roots are a little darker and her ends and I love the cut. I love the way it's like sort of straggly on the ends. Like it looks very like emo chic kind of fashion-y, really interesting and cool. And I love this color. And I don't see a lot of people rocking this sort of like washed out blue gray tone that I'm seeing. And it's 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 quite pretty on her. I, I really like it. And now it looks like she kind of had that blue color and it kind of rinsed out. And now she has this kind of like washed out blue. I like the deeper blue better for sure. Like normally I'd be like, okay, this color makes her look a little ill, like makes her look like she has not slept. Her skin is so pale, she hasn't seen the sunlight in forever, but I like that vibe on her. Like I, I, I genuinely like the way she looks kind of ill. It, it works for her. It's pretty, it's an aesthetic, and she fully commits to it. If you're going to do a look, just commit to it. I realized in my lifetime that you can wear 
any look, as long as you're fully committed to the look and you're fully committed to making that look work, if you're not sold on your own look, nobody else will be either. So I like it. Again, I don't like it as much as the other darker blue, but okay. Then she went bright blue and um, okay, I think this is pushing it a little bit for me. I don't know I, I don't know if I can say anything really good about this. Her hair looks definitely processed, a little damaged, um, and she's got some hot roots going on. I don't know if that was like on purpose, but she said that she accidentally dyed it blue. She hates blue, apparently. Um, I don't know why I don't get this, but okay. <sighs> there's a DIY look and then there's like, I really f***ed up my hair DIY look and this is that and I don't love it. But cool grunge, I don't know, not the worst. Okay, so you guys always think I like blondes the best and like whatever, and like, of course, I love blonde hair. But this gray black, this like really deep ash, ash, dark brown is so spectacular on her. Like sort of boring in a way, but also like not. Like I think her eyes just really light up the look and I don't know, it's really exciting. I love the dark hair on her. I think it looks a lot more healthy and finish. And this looks like she got it done professionally. So I don't know if she's transitioned into like professional work now, but it's really good. I love the dark gray black hair and she looks healthy and alive and <laughs> vibrant and I love it. I really do. But I think it still has kind of an artsy feel because it has that like charcoal feel, like kind of charcoal gray, but black. It's not like super predictable, like jet black. Uh, blue black, you know, we briefly saw this like purple streak moment going on which was like her roots were kind of purple She had these kind of like purple. I don't know how else to explain it like kind of like a root shadow of purple But also like kind of going down her hair again super cool unpredictable artsy I love it I think it really works for Billy and I think a lot of other people doing it It wouldn't work so well But I think for her she just really embraces the grunge and embraces who she is and that's why all these looks work out so well for her I like it uh, and of course, the look we're doing today, which is the lime green roots with the dark brown, sort of black ends. It's iconic. It's great. I really, 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 really love it. It's so unpredictable and original. Not saying that she's the first one to do it, but but I have yet to see any artist really commit to this look on their real hair. Anybody who really steps out of the box like that and is confident enough to wear it, especially what, she's 17 or something? Girl, when I was 17, I was so worried about like having a pimple on my face and like people looking at it. Like, never mind coloring my hair like that. Actually, I definitely did some wild colors when I was younger. Okay, never mind. I think this is just a great look and it kind of grew on me and I think it grew on a lot of people. I think it was kind of like, whoa at first. And then I like five minutes later, I was like, whoa, okay, yeah. And that's really good for her. That's like, that is what I want her to always have. That is great, that's staying, and that is perfect. I love it, and that's why we're recreating it today. I really want a wig that looks like this. I think, it, I think it's gonna be super cool to add to my wig collection that is taking up this entire space. Me literally just realizing that I have like three billion wigs in my room. So let's grab Miss Wiggy and let's do a little color job. Let's do a little Billie Eilish Halloween costume because why not? It is October, my birthday is in October, and I love Halloween. Let's do it, yay! All right, so here's the rundown of what's happening right now. Of course, right here we have Miss Blondie. We have a beautiful blonde wig that I put on my wig head stand. Obviously, she's gonna go very dark on these ends and of course the green roots, which is honestly a pretty simple process. We're basically just gonna be painting the roots green and then fully going on, on all the roots, painting like an inch and a half down from the head. And I'll show you guys how I do that without making kind of like a straight line going across on the root. There's a way to make it kind of a variation of color and more of like a little ombre root instead of like a really harsh line because Billy has more of like a little bit of an ombre going on in the top and a little bit of diffusion with the color. So I'm gonna be doing more like that style um, and I'll show you how to do that with the color application so that it looks more like Billy Eilish's. And uh, yeah, so why don't we just get into the green. I'm gonna be using overtone today because I always use overtone. We're gonna be using vibrant yellow today and vibrant green and mixing them together. I have already done that so I actually just mixed it all in this together. I put two thirds vibrant green to one third vibrant yellow into this and mix it together. Um, might be a little bit less than that, a little bit less yellow. I didn't put a ton of yellow in here because it's already pretty like neon, but um, just want to make it a little bit more extra because like that's what we do on this channel. <laughs> 
So you're gonna wanna get some clips and a comb out. And I'm gonna show you guys how I like to do my root drops. If I'm ever doing a root drop, root shadow, or anything like that, I always, pretty much always use this technique. So I'm gonna part where the person is going to usually part their hair. And if they say, I don't know where, to, where I part my hair, just be like, well, <laughs> Figure it out. Now, actually, you can just part it in the middle. Um, that will work fine. So just make sure it's great all around. This is kind of more difficult because it's on a wig. There's tracks in the back. It's not full lace. It's just lace in the front. So I'm gonna do my best at showing you kind of how to do this. So what I do is part on their part, wherever they part it, just like that. And then we are gonna do four quadrants, which is simple. Every hairstylist should know how to do four quadrants because that is like the first thing you learn in hair school. <laughs> I love hair school. No, it was actually kind of torture for me, but like, that's okay. So it's basically just one line down the back, kind of like a zigzag line if your part's on the side and straight down the back. And then take your two sides and split them in half right behind the back of the ear as best as possible with a wig. And I just clip that out of the way and clip the back section. And I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second. I'm gonna be applying this uh, demi-permanent color on dry hair, that way it just takes more vibrant, but you can apply on wet hair if your hair is more porous or it just doesn't need as much pigment because you're not trying to go that deep. And then same thing on the other side. We can do the same thing. Perfect, okay, so this is kind of hard to see, but uh, we're gonna start off in the back. All right, so what I do is I like to obviously just, I mean, it's pretty easy. You outline the section as you would do in any, you know, process you were starting at the roots with. And so outline that section real quick. That's already looking so pretty. Um, and I just wouldn't pull it down too far yet um, with the green. It always ends up kind of spreading out anyways, like the color ends up spreading. So I just try to not go too far with it. All right, so the back is, I mean, a lot more simple than the front. I mean, they're both really simple, but I like to take horizontal sections, paint the front and the back, and just go all the way down the head, just taking very small sections. That way you penetrate all of the hair. You gotta get in there and just put that color on. I mean, like, let's not take forever for color, all right? Nobody wants to sit in your chair all day unless you're trying to avoid their husband. And you will get a lot of clients like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> Today, Miss Wiggy is not trying to avoid her husband. She actually is a lesbian and she loves her wife. So, sorry. This is gonna be the perfect green, I think. We shall see, because sometimes things just don't go my way. <laughs> I swear I'm okay. <laughs> Honestly, you can pretty much like mess up this part right now because you're just gonna go in with black over it. So it's like not that serious because if you go down too far, you can just cover up with black. Normally you wouldn't be able to do that, but I'm gonna finish this and then I'll see you guys in the front section where I'll show you exactly how I do the front. That's more of the uh, interesting part. Um, so let's do it. <laughs> And just like that, we've made it to the front of the hair. That was simple. Okay, so basically, all I really wanna say here is in order to make that kind of variation of color um, so that the root doesn't look like a harsh line and it kind of looks like a more natural grown in root, um, even though we're doing green, which is clearly not natural. Uh, I mean, unless you're like really cool and you grow naturally green hair, like I want to be friends with you, but otherwise, you're gonna have to like watch this. So this is the front of the head up here, obviously. We take our sections vertically down the side of the head and we paint it going backward, away from her face. That way if you paint everything at the same height going back, so I paint an inch of the root all going backwards, when you let it down, it's gonna be at all different heights because the head is rounded. So that's the cool thing about the head being rounded is if you paint everything going back, it's automatically gonna be at different variations and different heights when you let it down forward. And that's how I do it. And I'll show you exactly how right now in a little sped up version. Let's go for it. All right. We finally have the whole head green, and now we're ready to go in with the black. Normally when you're going from this blonde to black, you're gonna wanna fill with red or uh, whatever other color your hair color manufacturer recommends to fill with before doing the desired color. If it is, I think, three levels darker than what you're going towards, uh, you should always fill. If you don't know what filling hair means, then maybe in the future we'll go into that 
in depth, but today I'm gonna leave it at that. Filling hair is important if you're gonna go really dark from really light. But today, we're not gonna follow the rules. It's not that serious because we're using jet black neutral. I did a little test patch back here and it ended up being perfect. So I'm not worried about it not taking the way I wanted to because it is working back here. So let's go through the whole head. It's very simple. I'm just gonna go up to the root and kind of blend it in a little bit and fill everything with black that is currently blonde. It's gonna be dramatic. It's gonna be fun and I'm excited about it. Let's Billie Eilish this wig. Let's go. And I'm done with the color. That took way longer than I expected, um, but it's starting to look a lot like Billy. We're gonna wait about 35 minutes. I'm gonna rinse it off and then we'll come back and we'll do a little styling. And then I'm gonna get into a little Billie Eilish look for you. And then I'm gonna show you guys the final wig. It's gonna look so freaking dope. I already know it. And I just can't wait to have it a part of my collection. This baby is going to be mine. Uh, please don't get black on me. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Oh my God, Billy! <laughs> I didn't know you were coming today. Hi. <laughs> oh, I changed my outfit. Stay in my whole other shirt. <laughs> I love black hair color, it's so fun to use. This looks dope. I just washed her hair with Project X, shampoo and conditioner, and now I'm gonna put a bit of Glitterati in. And as you can see, I've used a lot of mine. Uh, <laughs> this is like the 10th one I've been through. Oh, look how shiny it is. Uh, I'm just gonna put this up top and all around, and I'm just gonna kind of give her a very relaxed style. I'm not gonna try very hard to make her hair not frizzy. Just give it a chill Billie Eilish blowout, which is basically just like, wake up and go kind of hair. So Glitterati is gonna add a little bit of sparkle, a bunch of hold, and definitely defrizz a lot. And it's just gonna be like a little bit gratified. Now I'm gonna kind of use my hands as my brush for this look because Billy doesn't really have like a blowout and definitely looks like she air dries her hair. So I'm gonna kind of use my hands to just like smooth it out a little bit, but I'm really gonna keep the kind of natural frizz that's going on. Um, because it's very Billie Eilish. Billy! <laughs> Billy! Mom, over here! I put nails on now. <laughs> Fred, your hair looks crazy. Where's Billy? B Billy! Billy! My Billy Eilish nails? Of course. <laughs> what color are you going to stay oh with? God, these are never gonna come off me. I already know it. <laughs> Billy! Billy! Eilish. You're Billy. Oh. Wow, I really feel like her. <laughs> <laughs> no, like once I have the once I have the wig on, I'm gonna freak out. I think so. Perhaps. <laughs> How does this work? I'll hold on the front with my with my claws. Okay. <laughs> In the Netflix original series, Becoming Billy. <laughs> I feel like Billy. <laughs> like it's freaking me out. <laughs> oh my! If you if you turned around right now, I'm freaking I out. I would literally think you're her. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> My God! You are Billie Eilish. Oh my God! When I put this on, I'm gonna Fred, take it off. Take it off. It's freaking me out. It's freaking me out. It's... This is spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Fred, take them off. We have someone would like you to me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my God! I have never seen my skin so white. Oh my God! Am I really that tan? Work. <laughs> <laughs> That that's her, Brad. That is her. <laughs> I don't want to look at myself anymore. Hold well, on, I need to put you a little bit more. People just vibe, and like when they feel it, they just kind of feel like they're hearing all their music in like one song. That's great, Billy. So Billy, congrats <laughs> on the new album. It's doing really well. You have old fans, young fans. 
Why do you think that is? Why, why do you think everyone loves you? Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, growing up, I mean, I listened to every different kind of music. Um, I mean, like, like soft rock, like pop, like uh, hardcore. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so I kind of wanted to create <laughs> uh, <laughs> a genre that was kind of like everything mixed together and like, it just kind of worked out and like you really liked it. So. Wow, that's awesome, Billy. Congratulations. Thank you. And I see you, you broke your, you, you sprained your ankle. What happened? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got my boot on. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. How did that happen? No, it was actually a rad story. Uh, we were performing a show and within the first like couple minutes of the show, like I couldn't even get my first lyric out and I <laughs> sprained my ankle. And you just, and it just happened. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, Billy! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be on SNL tomorrow, so. Can you tell us what songs you're singing? Um, oh. <laughs> oh, this is live TV, ladies and gentlemen. Can you tell us what songs, Billy? I mean, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't. You think it's okay? I'm yeah, gonna... I mean, let's get. Why not? Okay. <laughs> I mean, it is live, so I mean. <laughs> I'm doing Bad Guy. Yeah, so uh, World Tour coming up, are you excited? What are you most excited about? Tell us about it. Um, yeah, so actually the second leg of the tour is the Green World Tour. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and we're gonna recycle. <laughs> uh, they, we're actually working with a company that specializes. Uh, it specializes a word. <laughs> I'm wearing my Invisalign. Bad guy. All right. <laughs> Billy, how do you feel? Uh, like reborn. <laughs> reborn? Yeah, man. Yeah. Billy, Brad, I mean Billy. B B Brad, Billy. Billy. I'm a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ariana mixed with Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Alright, you guys, I hope you have enjoyed. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Billy would do that. What? Oh, was that part I'm of the character, Eric? I think it looks really good. Do you like really my wig? Good. I think it looks really good, Billy. Billy. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, um, that's it for my world tour. <laughs> Thanks for watching today. <laughs> I can't believe I'm wearing this on <laughs> for millions to see. All right, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you <laughs> hardly enjoyed this. I don't know what's going on. I think it turned out really good, <laughs> Billy. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, follow us on Instagram, Brad Mono YC, uh, Eric Mono underscore, and my hair care brand, X Mono Hair, and grab Project X and Glitterati. And that's it, Billie Eilish is out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. Um, Billie will never see you again. Brad, I don't know about that. Brad, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>